it's Dr. Wellwood here. Today's topic is osteoarthritis. Now you may have been diagnosed with osteoarthritis or you may have not been diagnosed by, by, um, from osteoarthritis or you may have been diagnosed with degenerative joint disease, degenerative disc disease, um, bone on bone knee issues. Um, basically osteoarthritis is an inflammatory arthropathy, big word, that is creating bone growth where it shouldn't be. That's it. So where does it come from? Why is it causing pain and what can you do to get rid of it? Well, a great research article came out um, this last month in uh, the journal Specific Reports in April 2017 that showed that um, osteoarthritis is or may be caused by a diet over 20% in uh, saturated fats and simple carbohydrates. Now, for those of you who do not know what the heck that means, and there's a lot of you, um, that's okay. You don't have to remember it. What you have to remember is that saturated fats is basically a code word for meat. I'm gonna let that sink in. When I say meat, I specifically mean red meats. Now that could be beef. Um, to a lesser extent, that's also game meat, so deer, elk, um, um, and then buffalo um, and goat. Um, but it's typically saturated fat is meat. Um, that means that if you are a meat eater, then you're gonna have more pain and more arthritis than somebody who doesn't eat meat. Now the second component to uh, this most recent research was simple carbohydrates. What the heck does that mean? Simple carbohydrates is very simply starches. So if you put it in your mouth and it starts to melt, then it's probably a simple carbohydrate. It doesn't take a lot for your body to break it down and it can be broken down in your mouth itself. So the test is, you want to know if something is actually going to create an inflammatory process. Something's going to create more pain for you if you have arthritis. Okay. If you put it in your mouth and it starts to melt, then you shouldn't have it. That's it. If you have to chew it and it's crunchy, that's probably okay. If it's got a lot of color and it's not beige or white, then it's probably okay as far as carbohydrates goes. Those things don't tend to cause insulin spikes and that means it does not cause inflammation. And inflammation is the culprit for most of the diseases and most of the chronic conditions you have. Now from a personal note, I've done these blood tests so I know exactly what I can and cannot have. Um, I know for instance that if I have a potato, um, or french fry or a chip or, or whatever it is. If there's potato in something, I'm very stiff, very stiff. To the point where I will get up in the morning and I will like, oh, it's like 80 years old. And then I'm like, oh crud, did I have a potato? Yeah, well I had potato starch in some bread that I got. Um, or I was like, oh yeah, I guess I had red potatoes. Uh, with my with my steak yesterday like I did for lunch. So um, you have to find out what creates inflammation, what creates pain for you. It's gonna be specific, but generally speaking, the if it melts in your mouth or if you're you get a lot of uh, um, saliva going on, then it's probably a simple sugar. You should avoid it. So things to avoid meat products and simple sugars. That means the cheeseburger is going to be the death of you. It's high in saturated fats with the cheeses, the mayonnaise, and the meat, and it's high in simple carbohydrates with the bun. Pretty amazing, right there. You should not be having it, which sucks, because uh, I love cheeseburgers myself, specifically Burger Bell. I love Burger Bell. Uh, but, um, how can you treat it? You have to combat the inflammation um, with dietary changes, so that means complex carbohydrates, a um, low inflammatory diet. So basically, if you're hungry in 20 minutes, then you 
um, have an issue in your in your gut, in your GI system, you're having an inflammatory response, your insulin spiking, um, and you're not going to feel very good in the first place. Um, if you feel full in 20 minutes, if you feel full for a couple of hours, you're probably doing better. Um, also, movement. Movement is huge. It pumps in fluid, pumps out fluid, pumps in fluid, pumps out fluid. That process is called imbibition. You don't have to remember that. It just means it's a hydraulic pump. The more fluid you get in there, the more nutrients you're going to get in there. Increasing oxygen is going to be huge. Um, that's where um, light exercise tends to uh, do very well. Um, getting manipulated with chiropractic adjustments does that imbibition thing. That's one of the reasons why you feel better. It reduces muscle tone as well, so that's why it frees up the, um, the motion. From a regenerative standpoint, we do prolozone injections into joints that recreate um, the growth of the cells in there. and and um, with the idea that it reduces pain, reduces swelling, reduces inflammation, and gives the body's ability to stimulate that repair and regenerative mechanism. Um, yoga, Pilates, Tai Chi, acupuncture does really well. It's one of the reasons why acupuncture does so well with arthritis is that it reduces inflammation. Um, but unless you're changing your diet um, for long-term pain relief, then you're probably going to continue to have the pain. So, major points. Diet has now been shown definitively to create or uh, to stimulate osteoarthritic changes. So if you are having pain due to arthritis, then you need to change your diet, quite simply. Two, you can reduce inflammatory processes by changing the meat. So beef is bad um, and go towards something else like wild game meat, which is typically lower. Um, if it melts in your mouth, it should probably be avoided at all costs. It's going to create an insulin spike and that's going to create inflammation. That's going to create pain. Movement is great. You need to move. Oxygenation is going to be huge. Oxygen stimulates your body's stem cell production, which creates a repair mechanism. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, don't, free, uh, don't be afraid to give me a call. Phone number is 509-299-6900. If you'd like to sit down and talk to me about how it is that we can help you here at the Regenerative Medicine Institute and the Natural Health Center and what you can do at home, uh, give me a call.